What's going on champs and champettes? It's Fire Monkey here and I'm currently in the most intense war in Fortnite Battle Royale that has probably ever happened. As you can see right here, we're currently getting chased down by two bots in a bot lobby, but they keep wanting to just pickaxe me to death. Luckily, it appears that- oh, there we go. Easy peasy. Anyways, with a little bit of a weird introduction out of the way, I know some things are a little bit odd with today's YouTube video, but I wanted to go ahead and talk about battle passes and why I think we should just kind of get rid of future battle pass exclusivity. Now, what I mean by this isn't the whole entire- oh, we should make old battle pass cosmetics return situation, because I don't know if they really can. When we talk about Fortnite Battle Royale, and especially the Battle Royale battle passes, there's always been this oddity that's kind of been going on with all of them that relates to how they've worked. Worked. It's always been advertised as, oh, spend $10 or 950 V-Bucks and you get all these rare cosmetics or whatever else that normally cost a higher price, right? It's always been the advertising key point. However, they've advertised it before as these cosmetics will never return to Fortnite in the future, right? They'll never return to the item shop or anything like that. And because of that, I think they've kind of softlocked themselves out of their old battle passes to where they can't really bring back things that they have actually, you know, released in the old battle passes before. But I feel like they should start changing that going forward. So when we look at Fortnite Festival or the LEGO Pass or any of those passes, for example, we've noticed one common trend with them, and that is that all of these passes end up saying in their official description, hey, this does exist, but the items may return to the item shop in the future. And that small key wording, even if things haven't returned, such as Fortnite crew packs, for example, has always been there, has always been mentioned over and over and over and over again. And it's something that I think they're starting to do more and more with all the different passes they have in the game because they want to go ahead and make it so they can bring anything back, right? You know, they can make it so they have a limited time pass or whatever else. You can buy the pass, grind it out to get all the rewards a little bit early. And then if you want to go ahead and actually end up purchasing it without purchasing the entire pass later down the line, you would just wait for it to actually release in the item shop. And I don't think that's really a bad idea, right? Just going ahead and releasing them later down the line in the item shop for people who just want that one specific cosmetic or didn't play during that season. And this also brings into the question the whole entire situation going on with Fortnite Festival, where jam tracks are included in the battle pass. Things such as Swim Free, which is a music pack, also gets a jam track version as well, which is a battle pass exclusive thing, but because of how the Battle Royale Battle Pass works, that jam track, which is basically an entire level for Fortnite Festival, is locked content for people who don't grind fully through all the different Battle Passes in Fortnite. And I think when it comes to stuff like that, where you're actually locking out not just a cosmetic, but something that is also actual levels and actual content for a whole entire mode, that's when it gets a little bit more like, eh, I don't know if you should really have exclusivity for every single thing you do for Battle Passes. But because of them having this whole entire lockout system that they kind of got in place now, where they're unable to really change that stuff, what I think they should do going forwards, and what I think they might end up doing with, like, Chapter 6 or something, is making it so future battle passes after some point, you know, they'll make an announcement or something, but they'll say future battle passes are no longer going to be limited to just that season, and instead the items could return to the item shop at any date. The same disclaimer they've used for the Avatar event, all the festival pass seasons, the Lego pass, for example, that we had with Chewbacca and all the Star Wars stuff, it is the same disclaimer they've used everywhere for all of the passes, I think they'll eventually bring that to Battle Royale as well in order to make it something where it's like, hey, you know, you're able to end up getting these later down the line, so there isn't that FOMO aspect, so we might not ever get, you know, what I really wanted, which is a whole entire Halo Infinite type system where it's like, oh, you own the pass, you can complete it at your own pace regardless of the current Fortnite season, and I think they might go down more of a monetary route, which I'm completely fine with as well, where even though it's something where you can grind it out for the current season, you can't grind it out in the future, you can still go ahead and just purchase the items you never ended up getting in the item shop at a later date for a higher price than it would have been just to buy that actual pass. And even though not everyone's going to enjoy buying things at a higher price, there are going to be some people who may not play the game as much, who may not play all the seasons or whatever, that will just end up buying different bundles or whatever of old seasonal cosmetics because of the fact that they might like one of the skins that were in one of the old passes or whatever else, but they never got around to actually grinding it back then. And that is why I also think that, you know, if this situation actually ends up happening and they go ahead and start releasing old Battle Pass cosmetics, cosmetics into the shop or whatever, releasing that whole entire exclusivity of, oh, these will never return, I feel it's going to be a situation where it's only going to be for future passes going forwards, and it won't actually be for legacy passes, right? Because I feel like there might be a little bit of just some legal loopholes or whatever else kind of going on there right now, where they're unable to bring it back due to some promises that they made back when those passes first existed, but then again, you know, it's normal for video game companies to kind of go back on their own promises, right? I mean, if we, we've all played video games long enough to know that is a thing that happens every once in a while, 
well, so I guess we could really just kind of have to wait and see. But I want to make a little bit of a video talking about what I want to see in Fortnite Battle Royale, how I want to see them change the battle passes, because I would like to get your guys' input as well. Do you think they should go ahead and do this whole entire system I'm thinking of, where it's like, oh, hey, you can go ahead and in future battle passes get the items in the item shop later down the line, if you so desire, because they're not li linked to that battle pass forever, they're not exclusive, they're not like a rare item or anything like that? Or do you think they should somehow find a way to make it so that absolutely every old battle pass item could actually come to the game in the item shop, regardless of if it was like chapter one, season three, or whatever else? Personally, for me, I wouldn't mind if old battle pass cosmetics actually ended up coming to the game, but I think the item or like the whole entire thing I'm bringing to the table here, you know, regarding the whole entire, oh hey, what if future battle passes didn't have the restriction of being exclusive, is something that is more likely to happen just due to the promises they've actually given out before for Fortnite. But with that said, I hope you champs and champions enjoyed today's YouTube video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, and I'll catch you guys next time with another upload. Peace out.